Hey friends, welcome back to Acre Homestead. We're here at my mom's house. This is my mom, Susan, if you guys haven't met her. Hi there. So what we're doing today is we're getting ready for Thanksgiving. We are going to go grocery shopping. We're going to Costco, Target, and anywhere else? Winco. Winco, not Target. <laughs> we're going to Costco and Winco. And we're gonna do the grocery shopping for Thanksgiving. The way that my family does most of the big holidays is we actually celebrate the week before whatever the holiday is. And we are gonna be celebrating Thanksgiving on Sunday. Normally we do it on a Saturday, but with my sister's work schedule, we had to do it on a Sunday. And by celebrating a week early, that frees up the actual holiday if any of my siblings wanna do things with their immediate family or if they have like in-law things that they wanna do. So yeah, just make Everybody it. has in-laws. Yeah, we do. <laughs> in town local. So I don't wanna be the one saying, come to my party or I'll be mad, or you have the two turkey dinners in one day. So this way, everybody gets time to enjoy quality time with everybody and yeah. not all on the same day. It's worked out really well. We've probably done this for like three, three years now. At least. And it works out perfectly. So my mom and I have a tradition. We do all the holiday cooking together, but today we actually gotta go get all the stuff. So my mom has a custom shopping list. I'll show it to you. I actually have a printable version on my blog, scratchpantry.com, and I'll link that if you wanna see it. Here, do you wanna explain a little bit, Mom, how this grocery list works? I primarily shop at Winco, and this is Winco in the order that I walk the grocery. This is my route. This over here is what I often buy at Costco, and here is my weekly menu plan if I uh, need to do that, because sometimes I shop and I buy stuff, and I forget that I was planning to do this meal or that meal. So that's how it goes. In the years that I had I was raising children, this grocery list hung up uh, on the wall. And so if some kids were cooking, which my kids all cooked, particularly Becky, and they used all the tomato paste or something or another, then they were suggested, please do check it that we need more tomato paste. Or if they were going to make a meal for their friends, then they needed to put on what they wanted, and I'd be glad to buy it. And we had over the years lots of extra folks living in our home particularly teenagers and young adults. And so um, if they needed uh, shampoo or something, uh, I'd be glad to buy it, but I'm not buying salon level products for <laughs> anybody. <laughs> so anyway, it worked. It has served us well when our household might have been eight people, and it serves my husband and I well when it's just two of us. It, I feel like I'm organized. I can't tell you how many times I end up at the grocery store, and if I didn't have this, I'd get home without the reason I went to the grocery. So we're going to go get breakfast first. There's a local bakery that we like to stop at when we do our grocery shopping together. We get a pastry and some coffee. Then we're going to head to Costco because it opens in about 10 minutes. And then we're going to head to Winco. Winco is our local bulk discount grocery store. And it's pretty cool. So this is going to be a fun day. We are going to go grocery shopping. We'll come back. I'm going to do an entire haul for you so you can see what we got. And then we're going to go over the menu. We have some appetizers, the mains, and the desserts that we're going to cook. And that is going to be an entire video on in and of itself where we actually prepare all the food. And I'll show you that. But we'll show you the menu and then how my mom likes to break up holidays to make them really easy and stress-free. So we'll get to that when we get back from the grocery store. But for now, let's go get some breakfast. and I put them all in your stocking and I only have one. Last time we were at Costco with my mom, at her Costco they had 100% grass-fed, grass-finished burger patties and I didn't get them and I regretted it and they don't have them now. I think it must have been a summer thing. Yeah, they do have some veggie ones, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't want a veggie one. Josh wouldn't be super happy if I came home with veggie burgers. <laughs> my mom has to look through the toys and Legos every time she comes to Costco because my dad and my nephews will do, they'll build Legos on Zoom together. Look at what I got for my five-year-old granddaughter for Christmas last time I was here. Oh, that's a cool camp set. Oh, uh, yeah. What do you think? That is so cool. Should I get that? 
I think so. Cool. Is that for Christmas? Yeah. My mom is Christmas shopping for my nieces and nephews. So really all I have left is Damien. Ooh, these reindeer are cool. Yeah, they are pretty, aren't they? We weren't going to do clothes shopping, but... <laughs> Can't help it when you come to Costco. <laughs> Most of my percent of this this is a cloth size special. Most of my clothes may be from Costco. That'd be nice. I like the fluffy ones. My friend lost her dad last night and she's in the neighborhood so I'm just going to drop this off at her porch on the way home today. I picked up my mom and I each uh, carbonated water. Thank you. And we are going to head to Winco now, I think. Yeah, mission accomplished at Costco. <laughs> I a couple of hundred dollars later. We both spent a little bit of money. Well, I did some Christmas shopping too. I yeah. Mean. I definitely, um, that's why I try not to go to Costco too often because I pick up things. But I did get a couple things that I've been, we've been eating. So, off to Winco. This is super cool that they have this. I've never seen this before. I don't need to buy it, but next time I come here, I definitely am going to. This has everything like, this has broccoli, carrots, and red cabbage. I really like those salad mixes that come with the dressings, but I don't always like the dressings because I don't like all the ingredients in the dressings that come in them. And I actually, yesterday, I bought some of those salad mixes and I made my own dressing, but you're paying for the dressing. And this whole thing is only $2.98 for this huge bag which is probably twice the size of a $4 bag that you get with a salad dressing mix. And so this is way more affordable. And usually they do come with kale, so I could just chop some kale up and you've got the broccoli stems, cabbage, and carrots, which is the part that I don't want to process. I can chop kale up, so that's really cool. I've never seen that before. Onions, crossed off. You'll see my mom puts potatoes and it'll be white, red, what's the beef? Uh, Baker's, sweet, Yukon gold. And then like onions, there's red, white, what's G? Green. Green, to oh, green tomato. <laughs> or green onions. onions. The way that Winco is able to have such great prices for customers is because they take the produce and they just put it out in the box and they don't organize it onto, you know, like a separate shelf, shelving unit. And so it saves a lot of time, a lot of labor, and then they can pass that savings on to the customer. And so all produce comes into a produce distributor and then all is the same produce that goes to the different grocery stores. So the produce at Winco is just as good as produce you would get at say or Kroger or something like that. It's just not as staged as you might get at a higher end grocery store. Which is fine because it's not smashed. Okay. Jalapeno cranberry dip, it's the best. Winco has this amazing bulk section. And one cool thing is they do let you order in bulk. So if you say, I don't know, sunflower seeds, who would want 50 pounds? You can actually order through them a 50 pound bag of whatever you want, flour, sugar, oats, beans, or anything like that. So this is a great resource for finding bulk items. If you just talk to the local bulk person that's in here and they'll get it for you. So if you spend hundred dollars, then you get a free turkey. So my mom's picking out a big turkey. Awesome. Need help? Yeah. What do you want? A question I get asked all the time is what can be frozen? Like if you want to do a freezer meal or, you know, freeze anything. The best advice, walk down your freezer aisles and anything that's in the freezer section, you can freeze. And you'd be kind of surprised what you'll find in the freezer section. Another thing Winco does is it puts the price of what you pay and then it'll compare the Walmart, Fred Meyer, and Safeway brands. Those are our other local grocery stores. 
and you can kind of see an estimate of how much you're saving. So I love Winco, I love Winco, but I don't usually come here because I don't usually have time to like go grocery shopping and I'm so busy. So you know, if you watch my grocery hauls, I usually do Fred Meyer pickups. And I don't like to stock up on things at Fred Meyer's because it's more expensive. Even my Walmart is more expensive than Winco. So since I'm here with my mom and we're doing Thanksgiving shopping, I went ahead and I stocked up on some things that I need. They have a huge Asian department here and a huge Hispanic department. I got a bunch of the Asian stuff that I normally like to stock up on. I probably spent $100, so I got myself a free turkey too. And you guys know I've been working on getting turkeys out of my freezer, but I'm now putting more turkeys into my freezer. So, awesome. We just made it back and we kind of mixed the Winco and Costco stuff together when we put it out because we decided to lay it out based on t like things. And so this is a Winco and Costco haul, mostly for the holidays. A couple of the things are just groceries for my mom, but at Winco we spent $103 and at Costco it was $224. So I'm gonna go ahead and we'll just show you what we got and we'll go through what we're gonna be making appetizers and for dinner for Thanksgiving. All right, we have some Brussels sprouts here. We're gonna do some butternut squash, bacon, Brussels sprouts, some roasted vegetables. There is a butternut squash over there. I wish my mom had told me because I had homegrown butternut squash. Sorry. My mom's friend's um, dad passed away, so we picked up some flowers for her. We're gonna do just some sauteed green beans. We like the green bean casserole, but it kind of gets to be too much, you know, with all the other heavy stuff we're gonna be making, so it's nice just to have a vegetable. So that's what that's for. My mom picked up some silicone mats. These are really awesome. She bought them for us, all my sisters and I, for Christmas last year, but she didn't buy herself some, so she picked these up at Costco. This is kind of fun. She got this for my niece for Christmas. It's a camping set, and that's pretty cute. I think that was like $50. And here we are going to be doing a couple things with cranberries. A recipe that actually I found from She's in Her Apron, and if you guys don't know her channel, go check her out. She made a couple years ago a cranberry salsa, and it is so good. So I watched her make it a few years ago, and I started making it, and now it's one of our family favorites. It's a cranberry salsa that you make, and then you serve it over cream cheese, and you eat with crackers, and it's really good. So we're going to make that, and we're going to make cranberry sauce with the cranberries. Here are some jalapenos. We need the jalapenos for the cranberry salsa and for a stuffed pepper recipe we're gonna do, and that's what these mini peppers are for as well. Just some onions and potatoes. These are gonna be for the mashed potatoes. And then my nephews, they have quite a few food allergies, so we're gonna do some separate smashed potatoes with these little guys. We have just your celery that you need to make stuffing and sage. We bought more cranberries carrots and cucumbers. These are going to be for a relish tray, like a vegetable tray. And we're also going to make a allergen friendly hummus. And I think we'll get to that sooner or later, but that's what the vegetables are for. And that's what the sugar snap peas are for as well. This is just some broccoli my mom bought to have. Now this is, we found this because my nephews are, my nephews have a ton of allergies and tell me what Eggs, they are. Milk, uh, sesame seeds, a gluten, grapes, citrus, tahini, well, that's, that's sesame seeds, and fish. So we have to be really careful when we're buying things for them, and we found this Milton's Craft Baker's crackers that are allergen friendly, and then we are gonna make an allergen friendly hummus when we get to that. A couple bags of chips, some bananas, Dijon mustard for the ham. My brother-in-law, one of my brother-in-laws does not like turkey. And so we always make ham on Christmas and Thanksgiving. And that's what the mustard's for. We got some hummus for people that don't need allergen-friendly hummus. Some good crackers. Oh no, these, these were the allergen-friendly ones that we found too. These are nut-free and gluten-free. These work for the boys. This works for my daughter. Okay, so I don't know all their allergies, but we got two different allergen-friendly crackers, just some regular crackers for the rest of us. Two different sausages for some recipes we're gonna be making. My mom really likes these 100% grass-fed- Polish dogs. Polish dogs. And then olives for a relish tray, we're gonna have this garbanzo beans is to make the hummus. My mom makes her pumpkin pie with evaporated milk, so that's what those are for. Some mini, I didn't even know these existed, mini, re, mini, saltines, mini saltine crackers, cream cheese. For the potatoes and for the uh, jalapeno cranberry dip. Sour cream, sesame oil. And this because they didn't have it the last time I went to the grocery, 
I'm keeping an eye out because stuff isn't always there when I want it. And I use a lot of this, so I just picked it up. We got some things for a relish tray. We got some pickled green beans, some pickled asparagus. This stuff is so good and it sounds weird, but it's really, really good. <laughs> just some regular pickles. I've tried making my own pickles and I've never had them taste as good as store-bought pickles. So that's why we buy store-bought pickles. Butter for the stuffing. Plus we are gonna be making a ton of pies. So we need a ton of butter. Heavy whipping cream for making homemade whipped cream. We have just some half and half, some milk, our free turkey that we got, because if you spent $100 at Winco, you got a free turkey. And here are just a bunch of beverages. We're gonna make a cranberry, we're gonna make a cranberry ginger ale punch. And then we got a couple sparkling ciders. We just got the traditional Martinelli's. And then this one I've never seen before. This is actually sparkling grape juice. There's two red sparkling grape juices and one white grape juice. So I think that's gonna be really good. And then just some Coke for the people that like just some plain Coke. Now we're gonna sit down and we're gonna go over the whole menu. I went through a couple of things as we were doing the grocery haul, but we do have a full menu written down. I do wanna say it's a lot more fun to shop with my daughter than to <laughs> shop by myself. We really had a good time. Yeah, it was fun. All right, so let's get to the menu. For our Thanksgiving celebration, sometimes we like to have a lot of hors d'oeuvres, uh, wait a while and have dinner, but because we're having to do it on a Sunday, we don't have the length of time we normally do. So we're just gonna have a few hors d'oeuvres because we couldn't do Thanksgiving without some hors d'oeuvres. A favorite one is the cranberry jalapeno dip. That is so good. Um, then of course we do a veggie plate and a pickle and olive plate. And we do a hummus that is allergen friendly for the grandsons. And then an all time favorite are kicking hot pepper poppers um, with jalapenos and sweet peppers. And that's what one of the spicy sausages is, are for. Okay, for dinner, we're gonna do the traditional turkey. And then, um, as mentioned before, I need to do a ham as well. I like to make everybody happy. I don't like people to feel left out. The things they like aren't served. I, I kind of cater to the people I love. And then the smashed potatoes, you just roast the little potatoes. Uh, when they're soft, you smash them, you sprinkle the olive oil, salt and pepper on them, put them back in until they crisp up and they're primo, the grandsons love them. The dressing is the traditional dressing. The recipe came from my husband's mother. It's a family favorite. And then I do a gravy, but I have to do it with cornstarch because of the grandsons. And then we do a sauteed green beans because we just don't need a lot more heavy stuff. And then the honey roasted Brussels sprouts with squash and bacon. That's a new recipe, but it sounds really good to me. For years, I have done Rhodes frozen bread rolls for dinner because I don't have time to do the yeasty dinner rolls. But I did see on a video Becky made that she made her own frozen Rhodes dinner rolls. So she's going to bring the frozen dinner rolls and they will be baked fresh and hot uh, the day of the meal. And then for dessert, we're doing pumpkin pie with whipped cream. I'm doing a, a vegan gluten-free pumpkin pie for the allergy people. I tried to see if Cool Whip was non-dairy and it's not. So I, I they just don't get it. I'll, I'll buy one of those coconut ice creams for them. Co Winco doesn't have it and Costco doesn't have it. And then Becky has an uh, apple pie she made earlier that's in the freezer and she's bringing. For drinks, we do a cranberries and ginger ale. It's, it's nice, it's not too sweet. For the actual meal, we serve the Martinelli's in goblets. And it's fancy. And the grandkids think it's very special. Um, then I always have water and some infused water and uh, coffee. So that is our, our uh, Thanksgiving uh, menu this year. It changes a little, but the main things are basically the same every year. But as people uh, come into the family with different preferences or allergies, we make adjustments. I'm gonna be coming over the day before Thanksgiving. This is a tradition we've done for years and years and years where I come over either day before Thanksgiving or the day before we celebrate Christmas. And the things that we're gonna be cooking and prepping are we're gonna make the cranberry salsa, we are gonna have the hummus done. We're going to prep the relish tray and the veggie tray and they'll just be wrapped up in the fridge ready to go for us. We're gonna make these stuffed peppers. Basically all the appetizers are gonna be done and ready to go. The only thing that's gonna actually have to be done is pull them out, sorry, my dog just sneezed. Pull them out of the refrigerator and then we'll, and we'll actually cook the stuffed peppers right before we serve them. But they are good kind of at room temperature too. They don't have to be hot, hot. So appetizers will almost be completely taken care of before the actual day we are gonna be celebrating. And then for the main dishes, we do a make-ahead mashed potato, so we don't have to worry about that. 
the stuffing or dressing, because we don't actually stuff our turkey, is all gonna be prepped and ready to go. We're gonna make it, have it assembled, and then all we'll have to do is throw it in the oven. We do the turkey in one of those roasters you've seen that, yeah. that Becky has, because that frees up my oven space to be able to do all the last minute stuff that needs to go in the oven so that it all comes out Hot. at the same time. So the tur when the turkey's ready to carve and we're ready to serve it, all the side dishes can come out of the oven and be piping hot. One thing about Thanksgiving is it can usually be hard to make sure that everything is hot and ready at the same time. So two ways we try to free up some of that oven space. One way we do that is put the turkey in the roaster pan and then you cook the... I put the ham on the Traeger and that just increases that smokiness That's and it's good. so good. And then another thing when we make the mashed potatoes, because we'll make those the day before and have them completely ready to go, is we actually put those in the crock pot. And that's a great way to make ahead mashed potatoes and they warm up really good. And they do even kind of get a crusty edge around the outside. Mm -hmm. That is really good. We will prep the veggies. So we'll have the Brussels sprouts cut, we'll have the butternut squash cut and everything like that. So all we'll have to do is roast that in the oven. We'll have the pies made, cooked and ready to go. And so then the only things we actually have to like make on the day of Thanksgiving are the green beans, roast the Brussels sprouts, bake the rolls, and make the gravy. So it just makes it a lot simpler to have Thanksgiving when you can prep 90% of it the day before. And then a lot of the mess, because that's the biggest thing, is you also make a mess when you're doing those prep days, is you can clean all that up and then you're basically just throwing things in the oven and making a few things and carving the turkey. Oh, and the other thing I do the day before is plan out and make sure I have all the serving pieces that I need ready to go for mm -hmm. all the dishes, the serving pieces and the utensils, so that at the last minute I'm not scrambling and looking for no. um, a platter to put uh, the sliced ham on or something like that. I'll show you how she does that. She puts post notes on everything and makes it really simple. And so you guys will see exactly what we mean when she says she when she allocates which serving dishes are for which food. And then typically after we're done with that big, big cooking day, my dad usually comes in and helps clean. And then we get all the tables set and then it's basically ready to go. Yeah, we have to do the floors because I'll tell you the kitchen floor just gets really <laughs> sticky. And that's one of his favorite jobs. He loves to do When I go to bed the day before, everything is done in advance. The food's ready, the house is ready, it's clean, the tables are set everything is in place so the day of the party i can have a relaxing morning and i can greet my guests fresh and not be stressed thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today as we went grocery shopping and we kind of talked through how we plan a party and how we do this my mom has been doing this for a long time and she's really good at it so I hope you guys found this valuable. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it if there's anybody you know that might enjoy this type of video. Don't forget the next video is all gonna be food prep and we're gonna spend the day together and just get all this food prepped and ready to go. And I'll continue to show you my mom's process so that we can have a really nice holiday and so we don't have to cook, clean, and have the celebration all on the same day. We can kind of take care of some of that stress and enjoy the process as opposed to having it be a stressful process because that should be fun. I'm so enjoying that uh, we get to do this together. Um, I have always had a burden to help people um, do hospitality and do it well, because it is a, a great blessing for people to come into our homes and feel welcomed and loved and taken care of. So I'm just really excited that I get to have this time to share with Becky's audience, all you people that are, I'm just coming to love because I watch all the videos and try to comment when I can answer yeah, questions. Yeah, she's in the comment section a lot. <laughs> anyway, thank you for joining us, it's great fun. If you're new, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you around here. And if you wanna go check out some of my other videos, they will pop up right here. But the next video, like I said, is gonna be an entire cooking video. It's gonna be super fun and I can't wait. I can't wait to come and help my mom cook. And I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I hope your holidays can be a little less stressful and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.